What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a navigation controller, what it is and how you can implement it in your iOS app. So first and foremost, we're going to open up the settings app here. And what we see here is a title at the top and this like list of stuff. And you probably have seen an interface like this similar in other apps and across iOS. When you tap into any of these items, we get this nice animation of something sliding over. We can slide it back if we can get the edge of the screen like so. This interface is actually uh, called a navigation controller and it's the concept of having this navigation bar up here and being able to push and pop these view controllers off the stack. You can swipe it back, alternatively hit the back button. And yeah, we're gonna implement this and talk about the various do's and don'ts. So as always, open up Xcode and create a new project, stick with a single view application, call it what you want, save it wherever you want. And after you're done doing that, before we jump into it, make sure to hit that like button below for daily Swift videos. We do other software engineering on this channel too. Subscribe if you're new and let's jump into it. So we're gonna go to our storyboard and we're gonna set a background color to this, something dark preferably, so we can see the um, see the navigation bar up top, which should be white. And when you run this app by hitting Command R and going to your simulator, I'm giving it a second, you'll see that there's no bar up here once it loads. In any second, cool. The reason for that is by default, Apple with this template does not give this uh, give us a navigation controller. They give us a view controller. So what we can do is we can select it over here or up here, and we can come up here into this top menu, go to editor, and then we can go to embed in, and we can come down here and say navigation controller. So when I click this, notice what happens. We'll get another controller here with the primary arrow, which is our where our main app is gonna launch into, uh, connected, and then an arrow from this navigation controller to this view controller. Now let's just hit Command R again and run it and see what we get. Okay, now we have this bar thing up here. And what we've essentially done is we've created this navigation controller and set its root view controller, which is the actual content. So an important thing to understand is navigation controller just encompasses the navigation aspect. So that is the title up here, buttons if we want to add any, and keeping track of a stack. So you can imagine, let's open up actually the editor so I can show this better as an example. You can imagine as you're tapping on buttons and you are adding more screens onto your, onto the, adding more view controllers onto your screen, you're creating a stack essentially. And what the user sees is the topmost view controller in the stack. And as you swipe them away one by one, let's see you swipe away this one and swipe away this one, that whole management of what's on your screen and what's below it is handled by our navigation controller. But our navigation controller does not actually handle putting stuff here on the view. Each navigation controller needs a root view controller, either a normal UI view controller or a table view controller or something to populate content. So you might ask, how do I set a title for this navigation controller that we've added into our storyboard through the embed in process? Now, the title is actually not for the navigation controller. That right there is actually an incorrect way of thinking about it because a view controller has a title. So you can click on this bar for this view controller and you can actually specify a title of something. And if you run, well, you can actually already see it there, but if you run, you'll see it up here. And you can also come up here and in this nav bar selection of the nav controller, you can change some of the properties. So you can do something like prefers large title and now you can see that this title looks like the one in settings, but obviously our background is gray, so it's black on gray. We can change the color of it by clicking this again and changing the color to, let's do this. Well, actually let's do, let's see. Sometimes this decides to not cooperate. Ah, this is actually the wrong color we're changing. My mistake, so we actually need to change the title color for large title. 
So let's come in here and pick a different color. And we see our color change down here. We can alternatively set the title from our view controller. So we can say self.title equals my title. We can build and run by hitting command R and we'll see our title up here. To actually present another controller on top of this that slides in, we want to use two functions to pop in, rather pop and push, which is show and dismiss controllers. And that's off of your self navigation controller. And there is a push function on here and a pop. And there's a couple of variants of pop actually. There's pop to root view controller. You can do pop view controller. Um, you can do pop view controller passing in the controller and animated, so on and so forth. So let's actually quickly create another view controller by copy and pasting this, making this second view controller and setting its background color to red. That's how we're going to know we've got the new controller up. Just going to use the present on the navigation controller to actually show this view controller. But before that, what we want to do is create an IB action here because we're going to actually put a button on the first controller. And once we click it, we're going to show the new controller. So let's do IB action func and let's call it did tap button. And in here, we're going to say navigation controller dot push view controller. And we're going to create a new instance of this second view controller in here animated true. So if you notice when we hit the autocomplete, uh, rather when we hit enter to autocomplete this line, we got the question mark here because this navigation controller may or may not exist, right? It's optional because not every view controller is nested in a navigation controller. We know that it is because we actually did it in the storyboard. So if we go back to the storyboard in here, what we want to do is add a button in here and link it up with our action. So let's bring on a button, a UI button, pop it onto our screen, and let's go ahead and right click the view controller, drag the action to the button, and select touch up inside. We're not going to apply constraints for the sake of this video, we're just going to hit command R to build and run. We have our button, let's take a look at this, and once we hit it, we see this slide on over. So similar to the settings app that we looked at, we can swipe this back from the corner and we get that nice animation effect that iOS is pretty famous for. We also get this button up here, which has the title of the previous screen we were on. So we can hit that. Now, if we go back to our view controller file for the second view controller, if you notice, there's no title up here. And the reason is because we don't have a title in here. So we can say title equals Hello world, if we can spell world today, and we're going to command R one more time. If we hit it, we'll see that we get our title at the top in addition to this button. A couple other things that you can do are um, add the add other buttons up here in this corner. Of course, you can also edit the style of the title. What you can do in this case is you can take this second view controller put it into a variable calling a VC. You can do let VC equals this. And there's a property on a view controller called navigation item. And we can put buttons on our navigation bar at the top through the navigation item as well as manipulate the title appearance. So we can say, let's see, large title display mode, and we're going to do never. So when this second view controller gets pushed onto the stack, what we're going to do is because we don't want the um, title to be large, you can see by default is small. And where did it get this color from, this background color? If you remember, because in the storyboard, I initially had set the wrong color. If we select this, we'll see that we have this option here for bar tint. Let's change this color and you'll see once we push the new view controller, we'll get that orangish red color like so. So that's how you push a view controller onto a navigation stack. Let's also add a button to that third or that second view controller. 
which will uh, dismiss the view controller. So let's uh, let's create a view controller by dragging it on here, and we're gonna give it the class of second view controller. Through the class, we'll give it an ID of second. We'll set the background color to be black. We'll throw a button onto the screen here that we're going to use in just a second. Let's go back to our view controller. In here, we're going to say VC instead of equaling this is going to be storyboard dot instantiate with an identifier, which is going to be second as second view controller. Let's see, what else do we need to do? We need to add an IV action in here. And we're gonna give it a did tab button function name. And in here, we're gonna say navigation controller. Let's see, what did we forget? Did tab button, let's fix our braces. Navigation controller, pop view controller, animated true. So pushing is you're adding to the stack and you're presenting a controller and popping is you're popping the topmost controller off the screen. So let's uh, go and connect that IB action that we just added for the second controller. And we can do that also by right clicking this, get our action here, drag it down there, touch up inside, and let's build and run by hitting Command R and see if we did everything right. So when we hit this, we get this, and the reason it's red is because in the code we override the properties in here. But when we hit this, we go back. Pop, sorry, push, pop, push, pop. Cool, so that's how you push and pop controllers, navigation controllers for that matter. The other thing that I wanted to call out here is because we, we embedded this controller into a navigation controller directly, um, you can actually add a navigation controller through this option up here as well. The embed in functionality actually just kind of fast tracks it for you. But when you drag a navigation controller on, it actually drags on two things because it's impossible to have a navigation controller just on its own. Um, and when I say it's impossible, I mean it's useless. There's no point. So this actually creates a table view controller and a nav controller for you. But if we disconnect to this, this guy is pretty much useless. The other important thing that I'll mention is when you push and uh, push and present a view controller onto a navigation stack, it cannot be another navigation controller. In other words, you cannot push another view controller onto the stack that is of a navigation type. That is because you're going to have multiple navigation bars up here and you're going to run into several issues. So Apple just straight up does not allow you to do it. Your app will crash, and it's a common mistake I see people often do. But just be aware of it, um, and you'll eventually get the hang of it. Other than that, navigation controllers are cool to link into tab bar apps, and I have a separate video explaining how to set up tab bar apps. And that about does it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if you found it useful, helpful. Comment if you have any questions, concerns. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.